Hello and welcome to an English learner. In today's video, you are going to improve your listening skills. Subscribe and let's get started. You will hear five different dialogues with 10 tasks to every dialogue. Listen carefully and choose the correct answer. If you can't understand something, pause and listen again. Then, listen again and check your guesses. You can also download the PDF file with the tasks and answers. The link is in the video description. Now, you are going to hear dialogue 1. Listen carefully and choose the correct answer. Good afternoon, sir. How can I assist you today? Hi there. I am looking for a new pair of trainers. I need something with good arch support and cushioning. We have a range of trainers that meet those requirements. Let me show you a few options. Here's the first pair. Hmm, they look decent, but I'm not a fan of red color. Do you have any other color options for this model? I apologize, sir, but this particular model only comes in red. However, I do have another pair with similar features. Take a look at the umber running shoes. I like the design and the cushioning seems promising. Can I try them on? Certainly. Here's your size. Take your time and let me know how they feel. They are comfortable, but I think the arch support could be better. Do you have anything with more arch support? Absolutely. I understand your concern. Here's another pair with black shoelaces that offers enhanced arch support and additional cushioning. These look like they have better support, but they feel a bit heavier than what I am used to. I prefer something lighter. Any other options? I completely understand. Weight is an important factor for many customers. Let me show you these trainers. They have excellent arch support and are known for their lightweight design. These look promising. Can I try them on and walk around a bit? Certainly. Here's your size. These are really comfortable and the arch support is fantastic. I think I've found my ideal pair. However, before I make a final decision, could you give me the first pair to try on? Of course. After trying them all, the pair I have tried third is the winner for me. I'll take them. Excellent choice, sir. I'm glad you found your perfect pair. Now, listen again and check your guesses. Good afternoon, sir. How can I assist you today? Hi there. I am looking for a new pair of trainers. I need something with good arch support and cushioning. We have a range of trainers that meet those requirements. Let me show you a few options. Here's the first pair. Hmm, they look decent, but I'm not a fan of red color. Do you have any other color options for this model? I apologize, sir, but this particular model only comes in red. However, I do have another pair with similar features. Take a look at the umber running shoes. I like the design and the cushioning seems promising. Can I try them on? Certainly. Here's your size. Take your time and let me know how they feel. They are comfortable, but I think the arch support could be better. Do you have anything with more arch support? Absolutely. I understand your concern. Here's another pair with black shoelaces that offers enhanced arch support and additional cushioning. These look like they have better support, but they feel a bit heavier than what I am used to. I prefer something lighter. Any other options? I completely understand. Weight is an important factor for many customers. Let me show you these trainers. 
They have excellent arch support and are known for their lightweight design. These look promising. Can I try them on and walk around a bit? Certainly. Here's your size. These are really comfortable, and the arch support is fantastic. I think I've found my ideal pair. However, before I make a final decision, could you give me the first pair to try on? Of course. After trying them all, the pair I have tried third is the winner for me. I'll take them. Excellent choice, sir. I'm glad you found your perfect pair. Now, you are going to hear dialogue too. For each question, choose the correct answer. A, B, or C. Good morning. I hope to be helpful to organize your dream weekend. Hi there. I want to plan a weekend getaway, but I can't decide between Paris, London, and Rome. They all seem amazing. I understand how difficult it can be to choose. All three cities offer unique experiences. Let's start by discussing what you are looking for in a weekend trip. Are you more interested in history, culture, or shopping? Hmm. I appreciate history and culture, but I also enjoy shopping. It's a tough choice. They all sound incredible. What about the weather during a weekend getaway? I prefer mild temperatures. In terms of weather, Paris and Rome offer pleasant temperatures during the spring and autumn, making it ideal for sightseeing and outdoor activities. London can be a bit unpredictable, but generally, it has mild temperatures during those seasons as well. That's good to know. I also enjoy trying local cuisine. Which city would be best for indulging in delicious food? All three cities are renowned for their culinary delights. Paris is famous for its pastries, croissants, and fine dining experiences. London offers a diverse food scene with a mix of international cuisines, trendy eateries, and traditional British pubs. Rome, of course, is known for its mouth-watering pasta dishes, pizza, and gelato. Yum, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. I'm also interested in exploring some iconic landmarks. Which city has the most must-see attractions? Well, Paris is renowned for its rich history, iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower, and world-class museums like the Louvre. London, on the other hand, has a fascinating mix of history and modern attractions. You can explore the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, and visit world-class shopping areas like Oxford Street. Rome is known for its ancient ruins, such as the Colosseum and Roman Forum, as well as its vibrant atmosphere and delicious Italian cuisine. It's such a tough decision. They all offer so much. Can you give me a moment to think? Absolutely. Take your time to consider all the factors. Thank you for your patience. After careful consideration, I think I'll go to Rome. Excellent choice. Rome is a fantastic city with its rich history, delectable cuisine, and iconic landmarks. You won't be disappointed. When would you like to travel, and for how many days? I am thinking of traveling in early autumn, preferably for a long weekend, arriving on a Thursday and returning on Sunday. Do you have any hotel recommendations in Rome? Certainly. I can suggest a few options based on your preferences and budget. Rome offers a range of accommodations, from luxurious hotels in the city center to cozy bed and breakfasts with a local charm. Could you please provide me with your preferred budget for the hotel? I am looking for a comfortable hotel with good reviews and convenient location. I would say my budget is around one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars per night. Noted. I will search for some suitable options that match your criteria. Rome has plenty of hotels in that price range, and I am sure we'll find the perfect fit for you. Now let's listen again and check your guesses.
Good morning. I hope to be helpful to organize your dream weekend. Hi there. I want to plan a weekend getaway, but I can't decide between Paris, London, and Rome. They all seem amazing. I understand how difficult it can be to choose. All three cities offer unique experiences. Let's start by discussing what you are looking for in a weekend trip. Are you more interested in history, culture, or shopping? Hmm. I appreciate history and culture, but I also enjoy shopping. It's a tough choice. They all sound incredible. What about the weather during a weekend getaway? I prefer mild temperatures. In terms of weather, Paris and Rome offer pleasant temperatures during the spring and autumn, making it ideal for sightseeing and outdoor activities. London can be a bit unpredictable, but generally, it has mild temperatures during those seasons as well. That's good to know. I also enjoy trying local cuisine. Which city would be best for indulging in delicious food? All three cities are renowned for their culinary delights. Paris is famous for its pastries, croissants, and fine dining experiences. London offers a diverse food scene with a mix of international cuisines, trendy eateries, and traditional British pubs. Rome, of course, is known for its mouth-watering pasta dishes, pizza, and gelato. Yum! My mouth is watering just thinking about it. I'm also interested in exploring some iconic landmarks. Which city has the most must-see attractions? Well, Paris is renowned for its rich history, iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower, and world-class museums like the Louvre. London, on the other hand, has a fascinating mix of history and modern attractions. You can explore the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace, and visit world-class shopping areas like Oxford Street. Rome is known for its ancient ruins, such as the Colosseum and Roman Forum, as well as its vibrant atmosphere and delicious Italian cuisine. It's such a tough decision. They all offer so much. Can you give me a moment to think? Absolutely. Take your time to consider all the factors. Thank you for your patience. After careful consideration, I think I'll go to Rome. Excellent choice. Rome is a fantastic city with its rich history, delectable cuisine, and iconic landmarks. You won't be disappointed. When would you like to travel, and for how many days? I am thinking of traveling in early autumn, preferably for a long weekend, arriving on a Thursday and returning on Sunday. Do you have any hotel recommendations in Rome? Certainly. I can suggest a few options based on your preferences and budget. Rome offers a range of accommodations, from luxurious hotels in the city center to cozy bed and breakfasts with a local charm. Could you please provide me with your preferred budget for the hotel? I am looking for a comfortable hotel with good reviews and convenient location. I would say my budget is around one hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars per night. Noted. I will search for some suitable options that match your criteria. Rome has plenty of hotels in that price range, and I am sure we'll find the perfect fit for you. Now you are going to hear dialogue three. Mark each statement true or false according to the information you hear. Good evening, ma'am. Are you ready to order? Good evening. Actually, I'm having a hard time deciding between a few dishes. Could you help me out? Of course, I would be happy to assist you. What are the options you are considering? Well, I am torn between the grilled salmon, the mushroom risotto, and the chicken parmesan. They all sound delicious. But I can't make up my mind. Those are all excellent choices. Let me give you a little more information about each dish. The grilled salmon is seasoned with lemon and herbs, served with a side of roasted vegetables. 
The mushroom risotto is a creamy blend of arborio rice, mixed mushrooms, and parmesan cheese. Lastly, the chicken parmesan features breaded chicken breast topped with marinara sauce and melted mozzarella cheese, served with spaghetti. Ham, they all sound tempting. Could you tell me a bit more about the mushroom risotto? Certainly. Our mushroom risotto is a house specialty. It's made with a blend of wild mushrooms. It's cooked to perfection, resulting in a creamy and flavorful dish. Many of our customers rave about it. That does sound appetizing. I do enjoy risotto. But I am also a fan of salmon. Could you tell me more about the grilled salmon? Absolutely. Our grilled salmon is fresh and locally sourced. It's seasoned with lemon juice, herbs, and a touch of olive oil. The grilling process enhances the natural flavors and gives it a delicate smokiness. That sounds delightful as well. I think I would choose salmon. It must be really tasty. Wait a minute, what about chicken? Is it nice? Certainly. Our chicken parmesan is a classic Italian favorite. It features a tender breaded chicken breast, lightly fried to achieve a crispy exterior while maintaining its juiciness. They all sound fantastic, but I think I'll go with the mushroom risotto. It's been a while since I've had a good risotto, and your description has convinced me. Excellent choice. Our mushroom risotto is truly a delicious option. I am sure you'll enjoy it. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that'll be all for now. Thank you for your help. You're most welcome. Your mushroom risotto will be prepared shortly. If you need anything else or have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Now, let's listen again and check your guesses. Good evening, ma'am. Are you ready to order? Good evening. Actually, I'm having a hard time deciding between a few dishes. Could you help me out? Of course, I would be happy to assist you. What are the options you are considering? Well, I am torn between the grilled salmon, the mushroom risotto, and the chicken parmesan. They all sound delicious but I can't make up my mind. Those are all excellent choices. Let me give you a little more information about each dish. The grilled salmon is seasoned with lemon and herbs, served with a side of roasted vegetables. The mushroom risotto is a creamy blend of arborio rice, mixed mushrooms, and parmesan cheese. Lastly, the chicken parmesan features breaded chicken breast topped with marinara sauce and melted mozzarella cheese. Served with spaghetti. Ham, they all sound tempting. Could you tell me a bit more about the mushroom risotto? Certainly. Our mushroom risotto is a house specialty. It's made with a blend of wild mushrooms. It's cooked to perfection, resulting in a creamy and flavorful dish. Many of our customers rave about it. That does sound appetizing. I do enjoy risotto. But I am also a fan of salmon. Could you tell me more about the grilled salmon? Absolutely. Our grilled salmon is fresh and locally sourced. It's seasoned with lemon juice, herbs, and a touch of olive oil. The grilling process enhances the natural flavors and gives it a delicate smokiness. That sounds delightful as well. I think. I would choose salmon. It must be really tasty. Wait a minute, what about chicken? Is it nice? Certainly. Our chicken parmesan is a classic Italian favorite. It features a tender breaded chicken breast, lightly fried to achieve a crispy exterior while maintaining its juiciness. They all sound fantastic, but I think I'll go with the mushroom risotto. It's been a while since I've had a good risotto, 
and your description has convinced me. Excellent choice. Our mushroom risotto is truly a delicious option. I am sure you'll enjoy it. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, that'll be all for now. Thank you for your help. You're most welcome. Your mushroom risotto will be prepared shortly. If you need anything else or have any other questions, feel free to let me know. Now, you are going to hear Dialogue 4. Listen carefully and choose the correct answer. Hey, Mari, I've been thinking about taking up a new sport or activity, but I'm not sure what to choose. Any suggestions? Sure, Tom. I can help you with that. What are your interests and preferences? Well, I've always enjoyed being outdoors and staying active. I used to play soccer in high school, but I'm open to trying something new. That's great, Tom. Based on your love for the outdoors, have you considered hiking or trail running? They both offer a great way to stay active while enjoying nature. Hiking and trail running sound interesting. I do love being in nature. Any other ideas? Absolutely. If you are looking for something more adrenaline pumping, you could try mountain biking. It combines the thrill of cycling with the excitement of exploring off-road trails. Mountain biking sounds thrilling. I've never tried it before, but I'm up for the challenge. What else do you suggest? Well, if you prefer water activities, you might want to consider kayaking or stand-up paddleboarding. They are both great ways to enjoy the water while getting a workout. Kayaking and stand-up paddleboarding seem like fun water activities. I'll definitely keep those in mind. What about team sports? If you enjoy team sports, you could give volleyball a try. It's a great way to stay active, have fun, and bond with others. Volleyball sounds like a great option. I've played it a few times before and enjoyed it. Any other team sports you recommend? Another team sport you might enjoy is Ultimate Frisbee. It's a fast-paced, non-contact sport that combines elements of football and frisbee. It's a lot of fun to play with friends. Ultimate Frisbee sounds like a unique and enjoyable team sport. I'll definitely consider giving it a shot. Are there any other activities you think I should consider? Well, if you are interested in mind-body connection, you could try yoga or tai chi. They focus on flexibility, balance, and relaxation, which can be great for overall well-being. Yoga and tai chi sound like great ways to work on my flexibility and find inner peace. I'll definitely look into those as well. Thanks for all the suggestions, Mari. You are welcome, Tom. Remember, the most important thing is to find something you genuinely enjoy and that suits your interests and goals. Have fun exploring these options and don't hesitate to ask if you need any further guidance. Now, let's listen again and check your guesses. Hey, Mari, I've been thinking about taking up a new sport or activity, but I'm not sure what to choose. Any suggestions? Sure, Tom. I can help you with that. What are your interests and preferences? Well, I've always enjoyed being outdoors and staying active. I used to play soccer in high school, but I'm open to trying something new. That's great, Tom. Based on your love for the outdoors, have you considered hiking or trail running? They both offer a great way to stay active while enjoying nature. Hiking and trail running sound interesting. I do love being in nature. Any other ideas? Absolutely. If you are looking for something more adrenaline pumping, you could try mountain biking. It combines the thrill of cycling with the excitement of exploring off-road trails. Mountain biking sounds thrilling. 
I've never tried it before, but I'm up for the challenge. What else do you suggest? Well, if you prefer water activities, you might want to consider kayaking or stand-up paddleboarding. They are both great ways to enjoy the water while getting a workout. Kayaking and stand-up paddleboarding seem like fun water activities. I'll definitely keep those in mind. What about team sports? If you enjoy team sports, you could give volleyball a try. It's a great way to stay active, have fun, and bond with others. Volleyball sounds like a great option. I've played it a few times before and enjoyed it. Any other team sports you recommend? Another team sport you might enjoy is ultimate frisbee. It's a fast-paced, non-contact sport that combines elements of football and frisbee. It's a lot of fun to play with friends. Ultimate frisbee sounds like a unique and enjoyable team sport. I'll definitely consider giving it a shot. Are there any other activities you think I should consider? Well, if you are interested in mind-body connection, you could try yoga or tai chi. They focus on flexibility, balance, and relaxation, which can be great for overall well-being. Yoga and tai chi sound like great ways to work on my flexibility and find inner peace. I'll definitely look into those as well. Thanks for all the suggestions, Mari. You are welcome, Tom. Remember, the most important thing is to find something you genuinely enjoy and that suits your interests and goals. Have fun exploring these options, and don't hesitate to ask if you need any further guidance. Now you are going to listen dialogue five. Listen carefully and mark the statements true or false according to the information you hear. Hey Simon, how is everything going at college? What subjects are you taking this term? Hi, Sarah. College is keeping me busy, but I am trying hard. This semester, I am taking Introduction to Psychology, Calculus, English Literature, and Computer Science. How about you? That sounds like an interesting mix of subjects. I'm taking Chemistry, World History. Spanish language and public speaking. So we have a few subjects in common. That's great. We can help each other out if we have any questions or need study partners. Speaking of subjects, have you had any interesting lectures or tasks recently? Definitely. In chemistry, we had a fascinating lecture on chemical reactions and lab experiments. It's hands-on and requires a lot of precision. I enjoy the practical aspect of the subject. That sounds exciting. Chemistry labs can be quite engaging. In calculus, we have been studying integrals and their applications. It's challenging, but I'm finding it rewarding when I solve complex problems. Integrals can be a bit tricky, but it's great to see you find it rewarding. At English Literature, we are analyzing classic novels. We recently discussed *Pride and Prejudice*, and the professor encouraged us to explore the underlying themes. Ah, *Pride and Prejudice* is a timeless classic. It's wonderful that you are delving deep into its themes. At Computer Science, we are learning programming languages and algorithms. We just finished a project that involved creating a simple game. Programming and creating games must be fun. I wish I had taken a computer science course. At World History, we have been focusing on the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt. It's fascinating to learn about their cultural and societal advancements. That sounds captivating. Ancient civilizations hold so much history and knowledge. And how about your Spanish language course? Any interesting tasks or conversations? Absolutely. In Spanish language, we are practicing our conversational skills through interactive activities. We had a group discussion about cultural differences between countries, 
and it was enlightening to hear different perspectives. That's fantastic. Language courses are a great way to explore different cultures and broaden our horizons. Lastly, how are you finding public speaking? Any memorable speeches or presentations? Public speaking has been challenging, but it's helping me build confidence. We recently had to deliver persuasive speeches on current social issues. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but it felt empowering to address important topics. Public speaking can be nerve-wracking indeed, but it's a valuable skill. I'm glad you find it empowering. It seems like we both have exciting subjects and tasks this term. Absolutely. Let's be study buddies and cheer each other on. Together, we can conquer this semester and excel in our respective subjects. Now, listen again and check your guesses. Hey Simon, how is everything going at college? What subjects are you taking this term? Hi, Sarah. College is keeping me busy, but I am trying hard. This semester, I am taking Introduction to Psychology, Calculus, English Literature, and Computer Science. How about you? That sounds like an interesting mix of subjects. I'm taking Chemistry, World History, Spanish Language, and Public Speaking. So we have a few subjects in common. That's great. We can help each other out if we have any questions or need study partners. Speaking of subjects, have you had any interesting lectures or tasks recently? Definitely. In chemistry, we had a fascinating lecture on chemical reactions and lab experiments. It's hands-on and requires a lot of precision. I enjoy the practical aspect of the subject. That sounds exciting. Chemistry labs can be quite engaging. In calculus. We have been studying integrals and their applications. It's challenging, but I'm finding it rewarding when I solve complex problems. Integrals can be a bit tricky, but it's great to see you find it rewarding. At English Literature, we are analyzing classic novels. We recently discussed Pride and Prejudice, and the professor encouraged us to explore the underlying themes. Ah, Pride and Prejudice is a timeless classic. It's wonderful that you are delving deep into its themes. At Computer Science, we are learning programming languages and algorithms. We just finished a project that involved creating a simple game. Programming and creating games must be fun. I wish I had taken a computer science course. At World History. We have been focusing on the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia and Egypt. It's fascinating to learn about their cultural and societal advancements. That sounds captivating. Ancient civilizations hold so much history and knowledge. And how about your Spanish language course? Any interesting tasks or conversations? Absolutely. In Spanish language. We are practicing our conversational skills through interactive activities. We had a group discussion about cultural differences between countries, and it was enlightening to hear different perspectives. That's fantastic. Language courses are a great way to explore different cultures and broaden our horizons. Lastly, how are you finding public speaking? Any memorable speeches or presentations? Public speaking has been challenging, but it's helping me build confidence. We recently had to deliver persuasive speeches on current social issues. It was a bit nerve-wracking, but it felt empowering to address important topics. Public speaking can be nerve-wracking indeed, but it's a valuable skill. I'm glad you find it empowering. It seems like we both have exciting subjects and tasks this term. Absolutely. Let's be study buddies and cheer each other on. Together, we can conquer this semester and excel in our respective subjects. What's your score? Write in comments. Thanks for watching. Like and share the video. Subscribe to Learn English.